Does anyone know what a phonautograph is? You know, who'll know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. Back in 1859, almost 20 years before the Edison cylinder, French inventor Edouard Leon Scott de Martinville invented a device that could actually record sound. His invention was called the phonautograph, and it traced a line that represented a sound wave onto glass or paper blackened by smoke. His intent was to be able to see on paper what speech or music actually looked like. Scott never considered that his recordings, called both phonautograms and phonoautograms, could ever be played back, since the waveform was only a flat image as opposed to a three-dimensional groove like those later created on the Edison cylinder. The technology didn't exist at that time to be able to hear what had been recorded. However, in 2008, using an optical scanner and a computer, many of the phonautograph recordings could finally be played back, making these the earliest recorded sound. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.